Well, here I am uh, outside of Jerusalem with the P-Cure team and I've just seen a gentleman treated uh, for a head and neck cancer, which I myself had 11 years ago. And I'm with two radiation therapists, technicians, and also a nurse. If you could wave and welcome to Australia. What I want to ask you, this proton therapy sitting up, what are the benefits for the patient? Would you like to start? What are the benefits for the patient? I think we have a chair that he can, he can sit and not lie down. It's uh, easier for the patient to swallow, to be controlled, to be comfortable. Uh, especially, especially in lab cancer, that it's very hard for him to breathe when he lay down. So sitting, it's much, much better for him. The patients have a lot of secretions, so when they're when they're sitting, it's easier for them to breathe and to swallow, and it's much more comfortable. Now, I was a head and neck cancer patient, and I know you treat head and neck cancer patients here. I'd love to hear from each of you your thoughts. Why is this very good for head and neck cancer patients? Nurse, do you want to go first? So one of the things is that we see less side effects because of the type of radiation we use, protons instead of photons that we definitely see that the percentages of the severe side effects are much lower here. What sort of side effects are lower? So radiation, a type of burns, can, uh, can, uh, can be, uh, there could be a lot of burns. Um, it's a type. And because of the proton, so it's less severe than normal because it stops. It like gets to the, the bad cells and it stops instead of continuing to the body. It's the great advantage of proton therapy. At exactly. least uh, they say collateral damage to the yes. I would do, yes to see uh, to say something about the side effects in photon. Usually in the uh, in the last of treatments, let's say ten last treatment, it's very hard to eat, even to eat. So here in the proton, we can see that the side effects it's less. Like they can swallow, they can eat, drink, they can drink. They don't feel. A, like burning and that it's so hard yeah, to, to drink and to eat. It, it's very uh, important. So key thing with proton therapy is less side effects. Just finally, the psychological emotional support. I've just watched you with an elderly gentleman, uh, 20 plus sessions uh, for a parotid cancer. Um, what do you do to help the patient cope emotionally? with this experience? First thing, we see the patient. We're looking at him, we see what he needs. When, it, um, when he's come into the room, first of all, we ask him what music he, la- he likes to hear. We put in the, the music. We put in the um, sheet on him so we won't, he won't be cold. And we ask him what else, what, where, where is it? Um, where is it hurts? So we're putting everything that we can do not to hurt him with the mask on the side that is the at the um pidur prophet I tell more the two more is uh, what else can I uh, can I just say I noticed that you spoke yeah. uh, to the man several times through a microphone from mm-hmm. outside why is that speaking to the patient important we think that during the patient we when He's inside and we're outside, doesn't know what's going on during the treatment. So we say in few words that we're with him and what part of, of the treatment we are doing now, we, first, we, we finished the first one, we are working for, uh, we're going to the second one, we're doing the CT, the, the x-ray. So he knows what's going on and it's very important to him to know uh, when you're going to finish and and for our patients also tell us that it helps them with the time passing. They know how long has passed, how much longer they have, so that they can, they know what to, what's coming next and when they're going to be done. I can tell you, as a patient, it very much helped me when people spoke. Uh, uh, and just so you know, they're not alone. And that big opponent. So they know that they're not alone, and we're always there with them. We're always watching them on the screens, and that we haven't just left her. Exactly. And what would you wave? What do you do that? Uh, you, to try to keep the patient psychologically sane. Okay, so first of all, we don't see the disease. We see the, the person, okay? We see his need. We try to support him, to encourage him, uh, to ask him, you know, about his life, not just about the treatment. So, seriously, we feel like the family. 
because it's not one or two treatments. It's about 35 treatments. It's day by day. So it's very important like to give you the uh, personal attention. Look, can I just say what a wonderful thing it has been to visit here in Jerusalem and, and to hear from you radiation therapy technicians and a nurse about your use of proton therapy. Could you just say hello to the patients in Australia in Hebrew? Hello. Be well, everybody. There goes the mask. We like that.